Have you ever wondered what an honest conversation with your heart would be like? What would your heart tell you if it was being truthful? Yesterday, United Baptist Church celebrated Valentine's Day with our regional missionary, Pastor Dale Baskew, and that is exactly what we discovered by looking at Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 1 through 10. From these verses, we found five, I am, statements, our hearts would share with us in this conversation. Number one, I am a hardened sinner. Our sin is carved on our hearts. Universally, sin has stained our very core and is a part of who we are at our very nature. Only a divine work by God himself can do something to change this inscription. Number two, I am like a tumbleweed. Apart from God, our heart lacks a genuine foundation and root system to stand among life's circumstances. Following our hearts then is like chasing a tumbleweed that is driven by every wind that blows. Number three, I am completely untrustworthy. Our heart is deceitful above all things. There is nothing in all of creation that will deceive us like our hearts. Hypocrisy and self-righteousness are tattooed within us, and they infuse themselves into every prompting our hearts offer. Number 4, I am incurable. Sin has sickened the core of our being and there is no cure to be found within ourselves. The only cure for our eternal illness is found in the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number 5, I am dark and unknowable. We cannot see into our hearts and we cannot discover a true picture of how bad our situation and circumstance within our sin is. Psalm chapter 139 verses 23 and 24 as a prayer for God to search our hearts and to know us in ways we cannot know ourselves. Only as we submit ourselves to God and the searching and revealing work of the Holy Spirit can an accurate image of who we truly are come into view. When we have an honest conversation with our hearts, we are confronted by the harsh reality of our sin. However, we are also invited to experience the change of life that comes through the gospel. We are invited to turn from our sin to God and trust in what Jesus has done to give us a new heart, a new life, and a new future.